What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I figured we can come at you guys with a top five video. I wanted this video to be up sooner, but I could not work it out. You know, holiday schedules and all the BS of the Thanksgiving and the football and the hey, hey, it hurts me. Today, man, we got a top five, and today is a special top five. You're probably wondering, why the hell is this edge here? Well, I want to do like a few different top fives as we end into the, the end of the year. Just kind of seems like a top ten, top five countdown deal, but let me know if you guys want to see these following videos videos just real quick do you guys want to see a top five or ten fix-ups in my collection like where there's no paint at all it's just part switching such as this edge right here that's just a bunch of parts switching together to make a cool fix-up so you want to see a top ten slash top five fix-ups in my collection you have a top five or ten favorite customs in my collection of that i've done myself so that would be you know uh, i don't know just just because this is right here you know like the seth rollins and the punisher jeff hardy and things of that nature so fix-ups top five top ten a customs that i've made top five top ten and then uh we have today's video which will be the top five customs in my collection not made by me so the best customs in my collection that i didn't have anything to do with i didn't you know i didn't i didn't sculpt it i didn't paint it i didn't do anything let me know if you guys would like to see those videos though because i i'm really interested to see all of my different really cool fix-ups and all the customs that i've done and kind of ranking those and as we approach the end of the year we'll probably do the top Top 10 AEW figures of the year, and then we'll do the top 10 WWE Elite slash Ultimate figures of the year. Really great things headed up for the end of the year, man. Should be really exciting, but let me know if you want to see those things down in the comment section below, man. But with all that being said, let's dive into this customs video. And we're ranking them, man, the top five best customs in my collection, not made by me. Alright guys, so coming in at the number 5 spot, I have my WrestleMania 21 Edge figure. This figure is insane, man. Like, the details on this figure are incredible. I had to get this figure made. This was actually made by Showstopper Custom Figs, who we have done a lot of work with, but we haven't done work with him in so long, but he makes just so such good work, man. Like, if you don't mind the shipping off and then waiting a little bit and then, you know, you pay your premium price and then you get back, it's, it's so sick, man. I used to send him, like, 20 figures or freaking, like, a bunch of stuff to do and I would wait you know a couple months and then it would be back and it's just incredible work man the detailing on this is sick he even has his freaking money in the bank briefcase this is such a gorgeous figure the reason that this is so high on my list is because of the nostalgia factor I remember when Edge won the money in the bank I wanted Chris Benoit to win the money in the bank and he was so close Edge hit him in the arm with the chair stole the money in the bank and then he became such a prick oh my god I hated Edge as a kid he made me cry on so many different many occasions and uh, this figure just encaptures that that man let's get into the details right quick before we move on like all of this right here this matte silver and gray with this like reddish pink outline and all of this is hand painted man he hand painted all of this it looks like a damn decal he absolutely crushed this and not only that like think about this man he had to get this he had to get this symmetrical so not only do you have the design on one side you have it on the other side and he hand painted it incredible man he even sculpted the boots down here to give him the accurate boots it's got edge it even has the flaps on it this figure is amazing and I would love to see this done by Mattel, but I'm very happy to have, you know, my own custom of it in my collection. Just a great piece. Coming into the number four spot, man, we have my 2005 era Chris Jericho. This thing is gorgeous, man. A, a lot of you may not even have seen these customs on the channel before, but this is another unique piece. Uh, the tights are just insane. They're the powder blue with like the felt looking material, and it's got like the glittery shimmer to it. In the pink with the blues and the black and silver, it has the classic nostalgic Jericho boots. It's just a great custom head sculpt. We use like an older Chris Jericho, or like a 2008, 2009 looking Jericho. And then he sculpted on the wavy short hair and the beard there. It, just, it even has the Y2J wristbands on there. Another one made by Showstopper Custom Figs, who it just makes incredible work, man. Like, I haven't gotten work from him in so long, but the work that he does is just insane, man. Again, got to get into the details real quick so you guys can see exactly what this is all about. Look at this. Just look at these details, man. You guys can see that glittery shot. I don't know how the hell he captured that effect. It looks almost like he dry brushed on the silver to get 
it like that. If you saw the tights, you know what I'm talking about. It's like almost like a velvet looking material or like a, I don't know, you guys have probably had blankets like it before. But right here yet again, man, he's got the Jericho painted on there. He's got the silhouette of Jericho in the Y2J stance with the light beams coming behind. And it's all hand painted. All of this is hand painted. None of it is, you know, decals. I mean, the Y2Js on the wristbands are decals. But the hand paint job right here, this paint job is insane. The Jericho lettering, I mean, I don't know how he did it, man. He even outlined it. It's incredible. The dude is so talented. You got the boots down there with the Jericho. This is just such a beautiful looking figure. One of my favorite figures in the collection. One of my favorite customs. And it just holds true to this day, man. What a beautiful piece. And I'll always hold this figure close to the heart. It's just, it's just beautiful. Look at it. Coming in at the number three spot, man, we have my NXT TakeOver Finn Balor right here. Holy crap, what a figure. This was made by Paj underscore Customs. I think it's Paj. It's either Paj or Page. But uh, this demon is insane. I have so many demons in my collection, but I think this one is my favorite. It is up near the top for sure. I just love the coloring of it. He nailed the eye design on the back. All of the hand-painted details of this guy is crazy, and it looks realistic. It's not just, you know, the Mattel just flat straight painted on with no, like, paint streaks and stuff. It really captures like that body paint imagery. It looks like it's painted on somebody's body. It doesn't look like, you know, I, I don't know how to describe it. You guys know like Finn Balor demon paints from Mattel are always like perfect and they, they don't really show how realistic it kind of looks. So this custom really captures that. I love it. Here's a quick zoom in shot of the figure so you guys can see. Just look at the paint detail on the back, on the front the sleeves, the face paint up at the top. Just a really fun figure. I love this figure. I think it looks fantastic, and I think Paj or Paige really nailed it, even as the rig kick pads and stuff, so I love this figure. It had to be included in my top five. Could not go into my top five without including this Finn Balor. Coming in at number two, man, I have my Willow the Wisp Jeff Hardy made by BEW. Honestly, this is mainly like just a head sculpt, but I do have like the, the jacket or the coat and I do have custom shirts. I just am so afraid that they're going to stain the figure and ruin the figure, but the tattoo detail on the right arm is actually hand painted by him and the whole head sculpt is made by him. We used a plethora of Jeff Hardy sculpts here. Uh, we used the uh, the WrestleMania battle pack to give him that grimacing face and then we did slap the Survivor Series hairpiece on there and he did, I think, sculpt on it a little bit and you do have the custom mask on there and this is all about that mask, but I have never seen a Willow this good. This is the best Willow Wisp I've ever seen. The mask is perfection. It looks insane. Like, look at this detail right here on the head sculpt. I mean, dude, this figure is just beyond belief. He used, like, some Warbler, I think, for the mask on top of some sculpting. And just look at it. It's perfection. The black and white color scheme is so underrated. You got the hair on there. You have the tattoo detail, like I said, on the sleeve there. It's just insane. Really happy to have this figure in the collection, man. It's just, it's just a great piece. I know a lot of people say it's the best custom in my collection, but I have it at number two. It could probably go at number one. I think if I put a little bit more thought into it, who knows what it would come out to. But nonetheless, I love this Willow and it had to be a top two figure. And for some honorable mentions in the collection, we have my Anti-Venom Prince Devitt. I had to include this. Another one made by Showstopper Custom Figs. Super clean. Just seeing Prince Devitt with the white body paint. It's really nice. So I had to include the Anti-Venom Prince Devitt slash Finn Balor. Also I have this sick-ass Extreme Rules 2016 Dolph Ziggler. This is one of the first customs I ever put in my collection. It even has the custom shirt with the front and back graphics on it. The white and pink tights were just so sick. It even has the sculpted details on the flaps. You got the braided hair. Always wish Mattel would have given us this in elite figure form, but, you know, since Dolph Ziggler is a current talent, they usually go with updated looks instead of, you know, uh, flashback looks. So I doubt, uh, you know, I highly doubt we'll ever see this figure, but uh, I, the guy that made this, he just kind of disappeared off the face of the planet, and I've never talked to him again, really. He made me two customs. They were both incredible for a really good price, and then I never heard from him again. I haven't even even seen his work. He disappeared off Facebook. I hope he's okay, but this dude made some insane, talented work, and this Dolph Ziggler was a part of that, and it's a, it's a, it's kind of a relic in the collection. Next up was another Demon Man. I went with the Finn Balor Takeover the End figure, the NXT Takeover the End. I think it was his last match in NXT, if you don't count the second run there, or the matchup with Shinsuke, but I think this is a beautiful, man. This is one that I thought we would get from Mattel. We never did, but it's got the black, gray, and white colorway going on in there. If you guys want to get a little zoom in shot? We didn't do it for the Venom, so I I do apologize, but Jesus in heaven, man. What a beautiful looking figure. And I had to include this in the honorable mentions as well before we get into the number one figure. And coming in at number one... 
we have none other than George Washington himself. Just a very unique custom in the collection, man. It just, it's so cool to me to have a figure of George Washington, and it's just like that fantasy realm, diving into wrestling and kind of tying the two together. Just a really new, unique piece. You're not going to see this across anybody else's collections. People can make Willows, they can make Finn Balors, they can make all these different deals, and since this is not one, like, I'm usually the one that do, does the fantasy stuff, but this was actually made by BEW, and he nailed this head sculpt. I had the idea. I brought it to him. I wanted to make a few different presidents, and he brought him to life, man. First ever president, George Washington, and I love from the neck down because I used a Hunter Hearst Helmsley and then gave him some Ric Flair boots. However, I just think that uh, this is just a unique piece, and it's all in the head sculpt, I know, but it's so unique. I remember seeing that Bret Hart head sculpt and thinking, dude, this looks just like George Washington. I bet the BEW could work some magic. He works some magic, and it looks just like him. I think he absolutely nailed it. Now we just gotta get that true effects version. I have a few other characters that I want to see made, like, uh, sort of like fantasy characters to add to this weird, you know, unique wrestling figure collection. So you have George Washington there, but I just love how, you know, nobody else can really replicate that, or nobody's gonna have a George Washington WWE Elite. But if you wanna take out, you know, George Washington and the fantasy characters, and you wanna dive into just wrestling figures or customs, I mean, it technically it is a wrestling figure, right? It's all wrestling figure parts, and I declare it as a wrestling figure, but I guess you could put Willow at number one, probably. It's just so beautiful and stuff like that. There's plenty of other customs that could have made it into the video, man, but if you guys want to see those videos that we talked about in the beginning with the top-ranked fix-ups and then the entire, all my customs that I've made, all the customs that everybody else has made merged into one ranking, let me know if you guys would like to see that. It'd probably be a 30-plus minute video, but that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know what you think of my list. What is your own personal favorite custom in my collection? Or maybe you guys have a custom in your collection that you love. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know what you thought down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like me when I put George at number one. You cross the line.